So where did HIV actually come from? The most common form of HIV came from chimpanzees in Central Africa. It probably entered human populations between 1890 and 1920 when people were hunting chimpanzees. Transmission of the virus could have happened when a hunter was wounded and blood from a chimpanzee entered their bloodstream. HIV-1 is the most common type of HIV. It was spreading at a low level in the Congo Basin between 1920 and 1970. It then started to spread in North America in the mid-1970s. AIDS was then identified as a result of a cluster of cases of immune deficiency related illnesses in gay men in the United States in 1981. There's also many myths about where HIV came from. For example, during the 1980s, there were many false claims that HIV was a man-made virus created in a lab. There's no evidence to support this. There's also been a myth about so-called patient zero, a man who was once blamed for starting the AIDS epidemic in North America. This myth has since been dispelled. Evidence also does not support claims that HIV was spread during polio vaccination campaigns. In reality, the virus hasn't actually been found in any oral polio vaccines and a chemical used in the preparation of the vaccine would have killed the virus. Scientists also think that not enough of the virus could have been transferred in the oral polio vaccine to cause an infection. For more information on the origins of HIV, visit AIDSMAP.com.